So in my house, I have absolutely no role in taking care of the money. I my wife that does all of it. No, and you know we are seeing this woman nowadays versus 50, 60 years ago, they're taking on that bigger role mm -hmm. when it comes to taking care of money, and more than so than the men in the house, especially if you're in the Brickman household. In today's Money Watch, <laughs> we're talking about four financial traps that every woman should know about and avoid. And our money expert, Bruce Helmer, joins us. Thanks for being here, Bruce. Good morning, thank you. Good morning. This is, I mean, okay, so this feels like a weird topic. It does, <laughs> it feels a little old timey. It does, you know, as someone, and I take, obviously I have to take care of my finances, but there is a difference when it comes to looking at finances that when it comes to men and women. Yeah, men and women, again, uh, different but equal, and, and I don't, I don't want to be sexist. I, I, I have, have strong-willed women in my life. Um, no but, hold you but, to this, <laughs> whatever you say here. But uh, we have observed over the years, I've been doing this a long time, that just in general terms, women tend to be more conservative investors than men. Women like a sure thing, a bird in the hand, where men will be willing to take a flyer on a new stock and whatnot. And I'm, that's not necessarily bad about, about women. But you also have to make sure that your investment portfolio gets enough rate of return to last as long as you do. Good news is we're living longer than ever before and women live longer than men statistically. Mm -hmm. Bad news is we're living longer than ever before because our money's got to last longer. So if you get too conservative too fast, you run the risk of running out of money. Do you find yourself when you're talking with clients who are women that you have to not push them but kind of you know guide them in that direction to invest a little more aggressively um a little bit and, and again we always talk to our clients men and women about having a short-term uh, tranche or bucket of money where there isn't risk and then a mid-term tranche and then a long term and the long-term money is the money you're not going to spend for 15 or 20 years so if you're in your 40s and it's a retirement plan at work your 401k or your ira that's where you can afford to be aggressive because the ups and downs in the market and the market's down again today it doesn't hurt you unless you take it out of there and you're not going to take it out of there for 15 or 20 years. Does the maternal instinct carry over into finance at all? Just the idea of trying to take care of everybody else before Absolutely. yourself? Absolutely. And again, I don't think this is sexist, but I will just say that in our observation, women are better caregivers than men. If you look at mom and dad getting sick, who's going to take care of the brothers or the sisters? Yeah. And it's generally the sisters. So women have a tendency to put others before themselves and then they don't plan and take care of themselves. I've had many female clients over the years that are concerned about kids or grandkids right. and I said, look, I know you love your children unconditionally. They're not my client. You are. And if you keep giving them so much money, I'm afraid you're going to run out of money. When you're looking at the State Fair, you spend a lot of money when you're there. Are there differences <laughs> when it comes to men and women at the State Fair Pronto that you've seen? corn dogs. <laughs> Cotton candy. In our family, I eat a lot more bad food than, than, than the females do. But, um, you know, again, this, this stereotype that women are spenders and men are savers, I don't find that to be true. And also, it's, ge it's a generational thing. So our parents, maybe the man was kind of the person that controlled the money. More and more with younger people, I see women either in control or at least as equal partners. And I talk to, to couples equally as, as, as partners in this thing. Great. Very cool. Thanks, Bruce. Uh, you can get more of Bruce here on Mid Morning each Tuesday and get more financial advice on his show, Your Money, on WCCO Radio. Radio. Tune in Sunday mornings from 830 to 930. Catch him there.